I was surrounded on all sides. Had a coffee can and some nails in it, right? Y'all ever meet one of these people that literally like are so full of crap that like, I mean, it's, it's like not even believable how full of crap they are. Like I knew this guy, right? Now this, this boy, you know, he named himself a, a tough nickname and somehow got it to stick. I won't go into that, but we'll just call him Tiger. So anyway, this tiger, this guy would tell stories and, and people would listen. I would listen because I could, I could, it was like a train wreck. I couldn't turn away. Um, but I sit there and watch this guy weave this, this yarn of how he was a, a now, now, you have to realize this guy was actually so good blind in one eye but yet was in the uh navy seals and the army rangers uh and a horrible diabetic horrible diabetic but he actually was so good that he made it in two different branches of special services mm -hmm. now this guy sits one day one of his yarns that he's weaving is about how that him and his crew of, you know, some degenerate misfits that saved the world more times than we all know, are in this huge cargo plane and they're going to parachute into enemy territory. Now this story's being told to me circa 2003. I'm not exactly sure, I guess we were Fallujah. I don't know what, I'm not sure where or when this took place because this, yeah, but here's the story. So they're parachuting in to enemy territory in a cargo plane and, and they take these coffee cans and, and paper towel rolls and gunpowder and nails and, and do, and make these explosives that are you know whatever and he even goes to to explain that the towel rolls are so they can hold multiple ones between their fingers because they're parachuting in right and seriously sit down for this they've got to throw them down at the ground and clear enough because stuff don't blow back shrapnel does not blow up apparently <clears throat> I'm listening to this story patiently, remember this. And about six other people are too, but with a different intent. So anyway, they've got to throw these down uh, just in the nick of time to kill everybody and land and give them a fighting chance to, you know, pull out their 17 assault rifles or whatever. I made up the 17 part, he didn't say that. But in all the rest of this, I swear, is part of the story. So anyway, <clears throat> He gets done with, you know, the tail or whatever, and I, Tiger, 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 back here in the back row, Tiger. Um, I'm just curious. Uh, so you had access to a cargo plane and you had your whole crew and all that stuff, but y'all, they, they didn't give y'all real explosives. You had to make your own. You got a cargo plane, a cargo plane but we're improvising the explosives with coffee cans and paper towel rolls. Now, when you parachuted off of the space shuttle, true story, 